I am Jeremy Brune. I'm a master woodworker, a designer, an innovator, an illustrator, a motorcyclist, a musician, a layabout, etc., <laughs> etc. Et the tranquility of sailing. Uh, early July 2015 along the Kennet and Avon Canal. The sheer tranquility of sailing uh, back towards Bath. Uh, first time I've had it out this summer. Battery powered. I'm on about three fifths charge. I'm on speed setting one, so we won't be doing wheelies today. And it's really great, it's so peaceful. You can hear the water trickling inside the hull where there's a leak. <laughs> there is actually. I think what happens is that the wood dries out when it's when the catamaran's being stored and it leaks and then the water makes it swell. I mean, this is how clinker built boats work. And then they swell and then they float. So the boat has to sink before it floats. I've got my little dog with me. You know, these trainers are so comfortable and look how they're falling apart. Terrible, but I just cannot get this make of trainers. I don't know what make they are, Z or N or something, they're not Nike. But you just cannot get it. Everything changes. Fashion, technology changes. The moment you buy into it, it's obsolete. So I can't even replace a really decent pair of shoes. So I'm going to wear them till they drop off. I mean, they are so comfortable. They're my squash shoes. I play badminton in them as well. But what a view really tranquil. The speed limit on a canal like this is about four knots and I'm probably doing about two. This has got a top speed of about seven knots and of course this is the mini catamaran that I built to fit in the back of a smart car but I got this little Bedford Rascal van so there's a bit more space just to chuck it in and I'm going camping this evening with it so I thought I'd go out on the canal have a bite to eat and then um, camp in my van with my little dog people really look after their boats it's a different world now I'm had heading straight into the Sun Wow I'd expect that to freak out this little camera because it's certainly blinding me, the glare off that boat. Get all these cyclists going by. You see, it's, it's a slow pace of life. That's the, that's the charm of it all. The smell of the wildlife, the smell the water. Smell the oxygen coming off the trees. It'll be a nice sunset tonight. not careful you tend to pick up debris on the uh, the bows of the boat 
and I don't want it to entangle in my little propeller because I don't have no oars to paddle my way back. In other words, I'm up a creek without a paddle, just a little electric motor. But this is the life, so calm, so quiet, cuckoo. One flew over the cuckoo's nest, Jack Nicholson. My God, he's an actor and a half. Bad boy, bad boy Nicholson. I can hear people partying. You've got to watch these boats that are full of ladettes, Saturday night drinkers. Oh look, we got competition. These little ducks are trying to keep up with me. My little dog's quite interested in them. Hmm, forgot to shave before I came out. Tut tut. Saturday night. You know, I should be dressed up, dapper going out on the town. I've got to get used to looking at the lens, not at the viewfinder. Bad habit. But then if you look at the lens, people might think you're staring at them. Try and get some different angles here. Angle of my shoes that are falling, falling to bits. I'll know that the boat is filling up with too much water when my and the heels of my shoes are getting waterlogged because that means that will mean that the boat is down on its plimsoll line. You know, how many people today know what a plimsoll line is? I mean, these, those are plimsolls. <laughs> Absolutely nothing to do with a plimsoll line. Oh God, it's like looking in a bloody mirror, this. Never believed that I was a dashingly good-looking young man. Never even realised it at the time. You see, that's the problem with youth. It's wasted on the young. And now I'm in the category of old fart, I suppose. <laughs> but it happens to you all. It will get you. So I kind of pretend I'm young. I tell myself that I'm still about 30 probably never grew up, probably didn't want to be any older than 30. Who, who wants to be mature? I mean, I like to be accomplished, and I hope that doesn't sound arrogant, but I am accomplished. I work very hard at what I'm good at. And actually, I'm running out of film now, which is probably a good thing. But, you know, nothing comes easy. Um, this is probably what they call a vlog, you know, a pointless narrative of complete bullshit and trash, especially by motorcyclists. So this isn't quite as exciting as on the track, doing 150 mile an hour. But if it slows you down just for a few minutes, then um, it's job done. See, there's the tiller. It's good. I can hear somebody having a rave in a field or somewhere. Okay, now, what we're looking at down there is a little light. I'm colour blind. I don't know whether it's red or green. But at any rate, that shows me I'm on about three-fifths power. It's a kind of LED... Um, very basic voltometer, I suppose, a digital voltometer. It tells me how many volts are left. Nice bit of rust on that boat, or it looks like rust. A little bit of healthy rust on a, a metal boat. No bad thing. No bad thing. Oh, my little squirrel is a bit nervous of the water, but we're going to camp in the van tonight. Last night it was just too hot. 
had a, a fan on in my attic bedroom and just couldn't get to sleep so I thought it'd be a bit cooler sleeping in the van tonight really basic that's what we need get back to basics oh look at this a little bit of breeze on the water now when I go fishing that's just what you want when you fish for trout you want breeze because that acts as a kind of blanket between the um, you and the fish so they don't see you and I will sign off and um, hope you will subscribe to my channel because it's full of tips hopefully inspiration hopefully information as if you haven't got enough of that but I'm just sharing a really pleasant Saturday night on the canal near where I live and um, and thanks for watching get a shave brew Thank you.